So what are we not talking about? Well, we're not talking about the negative effect of some of the online um, ability for people to interact online. A great example is doctor ratings. So what do doctor ratings rate? Bedside manner. They don't rate the doctor's ability to treat your condition. They don't rate outcomes. They don't rate, they don't rate anything about how they practice medicine. They rate whether they're nice. And they're actually, in my opinion, driving people from the best doctors to the nicest doctors. And is there value in that? Since we don't have a real comprehensive way to gauge success in medicine, um, there isn't a way to say the rating, the success and outcomes rating of this doctor is 90% and this doctor is 82, but the 82 is really nice. Which one would you rather go to? I'll take the 90 any day. So that's, there are some definite negative. Um, also, there's a big negative um, component of social media and fake news. Um, and while that is certainly a concern and something we need to address, the ability, um, the ability for patients to connect with people who have similar conditions and get all of those benefits that I talked about earlier is so far outweighs the fake news concerns in, in the healthcare space that we just have to figure out how to solve it with our partners like Facebook and Twitter and um, even moving into some of the more credible sources like LinkedIn and things like that. Work with those partners to find a way to manage it. But the value that is given by those is so much more to these patients than the negativity of those fake news sources. So those are a couple things that I think we don't talk enough about. Um, in the last couple of weeks, we've been talking a whole lot more about fake news, which is good. But um, a couple of those things we're going to have to conquer as we go forward.